good y'all welcome back to my channel it is your girl Kerry, and y'all already know i'm bringing to you another wig review if you're new to my channel please make sure you hit that red subscribe button turn on post notifications so you don't miss anything when i upload if you ain't new welcome back boo let's go ahead and get it popping now first before i start getting all up into the wig and all that stuff i just gotta say i am feeling real good today i don't know i just kind of woke up on the good side of the bed last night well yesterday i was all in bed like the whole day super lazy and i made an excuse to tell myself like well you said you wanted an off day nah sis i don't know if it was a case of depression or what but later on like nine o'clock i got up i did a workout like i exercised for like an hour and i just got active you know what i'm saying sometimes exercise and do that for your sis and then so i felt real good took my little shower I, I cleaned up a little bit hand washed a few things cleaned some makeup brushes took a shower went to sleep woke up feeling good like Whew, what video I'm gonna record today? And it's this one. So yeah, I know y'all don't like to hear all that chitter chat and all do you sis, I don't know. But let's go ahead and jump right into this review. If you're interested in the wig on my head, I did do a video on it. This is Annie, I turned it into a headband wig. It was only $15 and I showed you six different styles you could try to do for some inspo. I'll put it in the description box, but let's move on to this right here. So we got from Sensationelle, the Wet Lace Butter Lace Butter Unit 8 color, Money Piece Blonde. It's supposed to be virtually undetectable HD lace, wider parting, air to air lace, and heat from 350 to 400. This is what she looks like straight out of the pack. Very, very cute at first glance. I ain't gonna lie. It does come in some other specialty colors too, so y'all can check that out. Or you could go ahead with a natural. As far as that parting space, we're getting about four inches from front to back. My phone just went off, we're gonna ignore that. <laughs> um, the cap construction is basic. It's two cones, one at the bottom, some adjustable straps, and just that one parting space. Off jump, I had to check out that hair line to see if it was pre-plucked like they claim it was. And it's not all that pre-plucked. Um, it's not like super OD blunt, but it's not pre-plucked enough to be claiming pre-plucked because I'm not wearing a hairline that looks like that as if it was like a pre-plucked front suit. Uh-uh. As far as it going ear to ear, it's dipping back in my hairline area. So it's falling a bit short. Um, as usual, I have to color up these butter lace units because it's a little bit like for me, I'm not tripping. I didn't use my even tint spray in the color medium brown. Now I cut the lace off to see if it was going to give me a little bit more wiggle room. Now it's still small. So, I mean, technically it's ear to ear if you're pulling it, but it's not going to cover up my whole entire hairline. I am a 22 and a half circumference head. So if you're that or bigger, then sis is not going to fit you all the way. And it doesn't make no sense to melt it down because it's just not going to fit. As far as this parting space goes, when I did do butter unit three, I felt like the parting space was wide and I think I loved it. But this one, uh-uh, it's a little thin. I did put some powder in it, but you know I'm not doing the plucking because I'm a lazy wig wearer, but they definitely could have opened up that parting space a little bit because it's a really kind of falling short up in that area, okay? Um, I did flatten it a little bit up top and really in all, that's all I had to do was add the powder and flatten it a bit. I would say it's definitely beginner friendly. It is a plop and go. The style overall is cute. I love that it comes pre-styled, like to a T. The curls and everything is working. It's going where it needs to go. It's not giving me any problems. And it's doing what it's supposed to do as far as the style goes. The color is gorgeous. Um, the parting space looks good after you add some powder, but it's, it's really small and tight before you add anything. The texture, I'm going to say they did their job on the color. Like, look at that. But the texture is more on the silky side. It doesn't have any yak or anything like that. I don't mind it. It feels really, really soft. It's not shedding or tangling. So it's a go in my book. I'm not really tripping. As far as the price goes, I think on average is running between like $39 or so. I think it's decent for the ease of it. But I mean, if you got a big head, Come on, and it's not pre-pluck. I mean, if they were gave for me $30, knock off like $9, I'd have been good with that. But yeah, as you can see, I'm trying to show you guys the hairline and stuff again to make sure I'm not tripping. Yeah, it could use a little bit of more pre-plucking. And as you can see, it is kind of falling short. It's not covering that hairline up at all, sis. But overall, she cute though. I'm not really mad at the wig. It's still a cute uh, wig all in all. And if you're not pulling it back and you're just willing it, wearing it down at the sides, then you're not really going to see much unless that wind blowing down. I don't tell you. But yeah, that is my thoughts on this Butter Unit 8. All right, y'all. So that concludes my review on this butter unit number eight. Y'all, let me know what you think about it. I'm just going to have to say off jump. Like, I was just super excited to try it. Like, when it first 
before it was even available to purchase, I was like, oh my gosh, a Butter Unit 8 is super freaking cute. I want that one. I didn't care too much for the Unit 7. I just don't care for the way it looks. And then Unit number 9, I definitely don't care the way that looks. So I didn't even get it. So your girl went and got three, four, five, six, skip seven. This is eight and I didn't do nine. If you didn't see my review on any of the other butter units and you want to check them out, definitely do so. I actually have a butter playlist because there's so many of them. So definitely check that out. I'd also put it in the description box and it'll pop up at the end of the video. Overall, y'all, I don't know how I feel about this unit on me. I do still overall think it is a pretty unit. I don't know if it's the color throwing it off for me because of the eye makeup, because of the shirt i don't know something about it's like uh, on me but it is a pretty wig y'all let me know what you think about butter unit eight and would you rock this color i'll see y'all later until next time Mwah.